Come closer, come closer, closer. All right, now do the intro. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, Jerk Squad? Welcome back. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. I ate cake, I caught sharks, I had a great time with my friends. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys my top five favorite surf fishing rigs that you can use anywhere in the world. These five rigs can catch anything from small bait fish all the way up to big sharks, so make sure you watch the whole video. Now, I'm gonna be explaining everything from the reels used all the way down to the bait that I'm putting on these poles. The sun just came up, so I had to throw on my sunglasses. You guys are in luck because I am doing a free giveaway right now in this video. What I'm giving away is two Thresher Shark rigs that you can use to slide baits down on the pier along with floats and sinkers and everything. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, and comment anything down below in the comment section. The comment with the most likes after one week of this video being posted will be the winner and I will personally send these to you in the mail. Good luck everyone, I hope you win. Let's get right into this. I wanna show you guys these rigs that I use. Here is my first rig. This is a Sienna 4000 FE Shimano reel. I like to put 20 pound braid on the reel. At the end of the braid, I have a swivel clip. I use this rig for casting and retrieving. This is an eight foot, two piece scimitar Shimano rod. They're very nice rods, eight foot long. It's perfect for the surf. This is what I like to cruise the beach with, toss for halibut. This right here is a Lucky Craft lure. These are great for halibut bit and whatnot. This right here is a metal jacker from Fish Extrata. They have these little beads inside of them that make noise. They work wonders in the surf. So check out Fish Extrata, Lucky Craft. Another rig that I'll throw on this one is a Carolina rig. You get a little egg sinker, a swivel, and a hook at the end of it, and you can put little sand crabs or any kind of bait you want on there and throw it out and retrieve. So first rig is my retriever pole, as you see. If you want to go extra stealthy, at the end of your 20 pound braid, you can put about a six to 10 foot fluoro carbon leader to try to help hide the line and you can tie the leader straight to the lucky craft if you want to really hide your line and tackle but I've caught fish with swivels on them before it's no big deal the second rig that I will be using today is also a Shimano 4000 FE Sienna reel I have 20 pound braid on this one also this is a seven and a half foot two piece big game Berkeley rod off of Amazon now I have my 20 pound braid here at the end of the 20 pound braid I have a long top shot of 15 pound fluorocarbon right and this fluorocarbon carbon goes all the way down to the bottom where I have my four ounce Sputnik sinker so it locks into the sand and doesn't move whenever you cast this out. This is my bait and weight rig that I use. I have a swivel clip so that way you can change out your weights whenever you want to and above this I have one dropper loop right here. You see this dropper loop? I have a very tiny little hook on there. That tiny hook is going to be for sand crabs, sandworms, fish bites, little strips of squid, anything that you use that you want to bait and wait for little perch, corbina, anything that's chilling in the surf. And then above that dropper loop, I have a second dropper loop with another tiny hook just to double up my chances of catching a fish. So this is my favorite bait and wait rig right here. And it works very well in the surf. You can cast it in and just hang out. We got sand crabs right here. This one's an absolute unit. Whenever I hook these sand crabs, I like to take the hook and go through the butt. Just like that, put it up under, go through the shell, and you're good to go. That should stay on for the whole time it's in the surf. And same thing for the big guy right here, right through the butt, just like that. That's a big sand crab. We got two sand crabs on here on dropper loops, and that's it. We're gonna throw this into the ocean and see what happens. You can catch sand crabs in the surf that you can use as bait right as you're fishing. If you wanna see how to catch sand crabs right here in the surf, click on this video and I'll show you how. Moving up the totem pole, this is rig number three. This is a BG 4500 reel from Daiwa. It is connected to a BG rod. This is a seven foot one piece rod rod that comes with the reel. On this reel, I have 30 pound braid because this is my bigger, stronger surf rod. This is for like, you know, leopard sharks, guitar fish, bat rays, anything that's got some size to it that you're gonna want some strength behind. At the end of the 30 pound braid, I like to put on 30 pound fluorocarbon. Again, this is to help, you know, hide the line so the fish doesn't see it that much. And then I like to use a size one or size two circle hook. I like to use circle hooks because J hooks get stuck in fish's stomachs. Sometimes they're hard to get out. I don't like to kill fish. I like to release almost everything I catch. There's a dropper loop with a hook on it. Below that is another dropper loop with another hook on it. And at the very bottom down here, I have, you guessed it, a swivel clip. And this is a four ounce Sputnik sinker. Stick your bait on and throw it in the ocean and wait around. And then hopefully something big will come and snatch it. Bait and waiting. At the bottom of the BG, I'm hooking this jack smelt. I like to hook the bait fish right through the nose like that, just so it holds on real tight. And this is good bait for halibut. Jack smelt will smash halibut. So I'm throwing this in the surf with the 
Sputnik sinker at the bottom and this floating right above it and hopefully a halibut will see it and smash it. On my second dropper loop on this rig, I am putting a fat chunk of squid. Hopefully a leopard shark or something will come by and eat this. I like to hook it once through the squid and then you just go right back through the squid leaving the hook exposed so when a fish bites it, it goes into their mouth. There you go. This is the next level of bait and weight rig. So we got small bait fish, big chunk of squid. We're going to throw this out in the ocean too. We are now on to rig number four. Right here, this is a Daiwa Saltis 30H reel. These are wonderful reels. They look really cool. It's paired with a Daiwa Proteus rod. This is a 30 to 60 pound rod. It holds up for everything. I use it for rock fishing, uh, you know, bait casting, sliding, you name it. I have 50 pound braid on here, which is what I like to run. And at the end of the 50 pound braid, I have a big Sputnik sinker. This is an eight ounce Sputnik sinker with a swivel clip right to the line. And what I do with this is I cast it out into the ocean, right? You just take the sinker alone, you cast it out into the ocean as far as you possibly can. Once you get that out into the ocean, you make sure it's locked tight. And that's when your leader comes in. You wanna take a leader. I got about a size three hook on here with 200 pound cable as my leader. At the end of the leader, I have a one ounce weight, a swivel clip, and a non-return, which is the spirally thing that you're looking at. And what you do is take that spirally thing and you put your line through it, wrap it around so it works like a zip line. Then you take this leader with the bait at the bottom of it and you put it on the line on your pole and you slide this out into the ocean. Now the waves out there will help slowly work this bait out as you're hanging out and that's why you wanna have a one ounce weight on there. And then you're getting baits out further than just normal casting because you're able to send the Sputnik sinker as far as you can. I am now getting my slide leader ready. I am putting this hook right through the mackerel's mouth, right through the nose, just like that. So if anything comes and smacks it, we got 200 pound cable on here and it's not biting through the line, so it'll secure the bag. We're gonna launch this out into the ocean and then slide our bait down. This is the part where you put on the non-return. You literally just take your line, spin it around the spiral part. And as you can see, it's like a zip line right there. You lock this little bottom piece like so, and then there you go, you're good to go. You wanna hold the pole up in the air while your bait slides out and the waves will slowly take it out for you. So that's rig number four. We're gonna move on to the final rig. Now it is time for fishing rig number five. This is it. This is the big game shark fishing rig, you guys. What I have here is an Okuma PCH 80 to 130 pound rated rod. This rod has caught big fish, 80 to 130, you'll be safe. This reel right here is an Avet 30 wide reel. Now, what I like to use on my reel is 100 pound braid. I spool the entire reel with 100 pound braid. Then I put a 50 to 60 yard mono top shot on this leader, whatever you want to call it. And that is plenty, that's all you need. And then at the end of your 100 pound mono, you are going to hook a big shark leader, which I'm gonna go through right now. This is the shark leader that I put at the end of the 100 pound mono. One of the best baits you can use is mackerel for any kind of fishing. If you wanna see how to catch a bunch of mackerel, I've got a video right up here that'll teach you everything. Right here we have an 18 knot hook that I put at the end of a crimped cable. This is 800 pound cable and this 800 pound cable goes to a big swivel clip very heavy swivel clip and the swivel clip is also attached to 900 pound mono filament you put about 10 to 15 feet of mono filament on the end and then at the end of the mono filament which you're crimping all of this throughout the process and whenever you crimp you want to use a little like figure eight type deal that i got going on right there that makes your crimp way stronger a lot less uh chance to lose sharks and then at the end of it, you want a big game swivel clip just like that to tie your leader onto. And then you have your entire shark rig. Whenever you send this out, you want to put like bat ray, a full fin fish, like half a yellowtail, mackerel, bonita, whatever you want. You put something big on this, drop it in the ocean. Something's going to get hungry and come by and eat it. So that's the leader for the fifth rig right there. Now, I'm really curious to know what you guys use in the surf. So go down in the comments right now and tell me what kind of rigs that you run in the surf. If they're the same as what I use, if you use something different, I just want to hear and learn some more from you guys. Click on the pinned comment in this video or there's a link in the description if you want to go to the Perch Merch store and buy some Perch Merch to support the channel. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you learned something. If you learned something or enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it. I love you Jerk Squad. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck out there. Let's get some fish.